in politics that tends to be several different political beliefs. And each of these political beliefs have convincing arguments on why they are right. Now, if you're looking at it neutrally, you may look at the arguments and stuff and think and this, but that's generally what people think arguments are for. But I'd say eh, that belief comes first and argument comes second. For example, uh, let's give a fictional example on argument on something that no one really has any opinion on. Whether or not people should be paid on Friday or Monday. So, the argument for people who believe that people should be paid on Friday say that after a week of work, people should be paid on Friday. That means they've got money to spend on the weekend and stuff. And then they can go back to work you know, on Monday. To Monday. People saying on Monday, people should be paid on Monday because that means they get their money f- for before they go working and by the time, and they don't waste it all on their weekends. Now the people on the Friday would counter saying that people should get the money after they've done the week of work because the week of work because if they got paid on Monday then they might be te- not work as hard but long story short doesn't really matter that much and people aren't going to listen to the arguments that make up the mind saying people should be paid on Friday no people are like hmm people should be paid on Friday and then they get the argument on why people should pay, work on Friday, get paid on Friday. So, yeah, that's just an observation I made in politics. So, yeah, that is all.